Hey everyone, it's Nathan again from the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to show you the hidden web browser on the Nook Touch. Um, you don't have to do any technical work or anything strange to get this on here. All you have to do is anywhere from your Nook, just open up the menu down here, hit search, um, and then type in a URL. It seems to recognize URLs and will automatically launch the web browser when you do this. Unfortunately, it's not the web browser isn't great, but it, I mean it is functional. Um, I've been having some problems with it. Like if I go to open a new window, uh, it goes into a search thing and it doesn't go anywhere. But I found uh, there's some other ways to get some windows open here. Um, yeah, like I was showing you the scrolling sometimes works. Sometimes I'm having some problems getting it to work. And then um, so some other thing uh, you got the thing is is you got to get all the way up to the menu bar to be able to do anything. Some other the thing, other things with it, like if you hold down, you get the usual options. It's pretty much just the same browser like that's on the Nook Color, so it just sort of got in here. But it, um, they didn't have enough time, I guess, to get it to work perfectly right because some things don't work with it right. Um, you can switch into the other different windows like I showed right here. Uh, one thing I tried, I went to Feedbooks and I tried to download a book and the downloading actually worked, but then I couldn't get the book to open at all. It goes into the downloads here. But then it says nothing can be found to open this file even though obviously the Barnes & Noble can read EPUBs so that's what it is so that's kinda strange um, one quick cool thing if you uh, there's no way to get to the browser other than doing the search so say you're your home screen or something if you um, go like that to the, use the little quick feature you can go back and forth um, through other applications with the Nook so you can add bookmarks uh, there's some other stuff in here for the settings uh, you got the find on page um, so you can scroll down here and there's actually a setting for landscape only mode which uh, inverts everything over to landscape mode obviously so that's, uh, this is kinda strange that they uh, the Barnes & Noble didn't uh, mention this at all it's just sort of a hidden feature you just tap on the search menu and put in a URL and all of a sudden there's this hidden web browser so that's pretty cool